Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm sorry, it's been a while. I've just been really busy with work. Um, they're doing layoffs and things like that, so that's not too exciting. That's not too, uh, that's not great news actually, but I'm okay so far. So, <clears throat> um, I just wanted to do a um, haul video really quick of some of the stuff I've acquired in the last few weeks since I've done, or since the last time I'd, I've done a, uh, a video. So, um, I'm just going to share that with you guys really quick, and then <clears throat> probably on my next day off, which is next Saturday or Sunday or Monday since it's a holiday for for me because I work at the at a government facility so we, we get all the holidays off but um, I'll probably do my contest then so keep a look out for that so it'll probably be like a late Valentine's Day contest um, but I just wanted to share with you guys really quick so let's get started um, first off I ordered two of these um, Coastal Scents palettes, and they're the 12 pan magnetic palettes, so it looks like that. And as you can see, it doesn't fall out, so. And they're actually, it's actually very, very, very magnetic, so it's kind of hard to get the palette out sometimes. I mean, <laughs> look at that. Uh, it's like, yeah. <clears throat> but the really nice thing about these is basically this palette here should fit the um, MAC palette or the MAC single eyeshadows like this because this is a 26 mm uh, this is a 26 millimeter so that's about the exact same size as the MAC ones so um, I got two of these and then I just did a like bargain type thing and I went to uh, the icing at the mall, which is part of Claire's, and I got this uh, really nice palette right here, and it also has this slide out part here. So you get um, 12 shadows, which is pretty good, and they're all very pigmented. Um, I really like that. And oh, while I'm thinking about it, yesterday was my birthday, so I went out. Uh, my boyfriend bought me dinner. And then we went out for drinks, and it was really, really nice. I'm so excited. Yeah. And then this here, I didn't actually buy. I just depotted my entire collection of the LA Colors um, 5 metallic palette, and I put them into a big palette, and it, well, a CD case really, but, um, and I labeled them on the back. And so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them, and I actually have one more that I might put down here. I don't know yet. But there's that. <clears throat> and then I went to um, some of the other stuff I got at the icing was this little palette here. They don't have, um, like, um, colors or anything like that. So I'm, I'm not really sure, but there's this one here, and this is just like um, a bunch of blues and like a white and a silver. And then I got another one, another quad, but this one has like pinks and purples. And then I got a couple of eyeshadow duos. And um, this is the first one I got. And this one has a really, really nice pink and purple color. And then this one's kind of like a bronzy, copperish pink or something like that. Like a brownish color, copperish color, and a white. And I have one more. This. Um, like these ones right here were like four or five bucks a piece and then these were about now these were five and these ones were f uh, these ones were four and then this one was on clearance so I get this I got this one for two bucks so that was that's pretty good I think so I bought it but I really really actually like these colors here. 
And then two of the other things I've, I got was a um, eyeshadow palette. And I forget how many colors are in here. But I'll give you an idea. I think it's like 15 or something like that. Or, I don't know. I forget. Let me see. Um, Twenty one. Yeah. But this actually whoops. Try not to bond you, sorry. Um this actually comes in like two color palettes. This is the first one that I picked up. And um yeah, I really, really like these colors here. And then the second one I recently picked up is their newest one, I believe. If I can open it. There we go. And like the colors in this palette are just a little bit more like pastel type colors, so they're a little bit lighter. But I still got like a black and a silver and a white in there as well as a few pinks. But, um, other than that, oh, I also had went to the dollar store and I went to a, a different location and I, they had like a lot more of the, um, the Maybelline Dream Mousse shadows. So I picked up all the rest of the colors that they had. I mean, it was only a dollar. So, I'm, I wasn't going to be, you know, I wasn't too worried about it. I mean, let me look at this. This one's Silver Halo. Then we have Lilac Cloud. Um, this one is Gold Aura. Some of these have numbers on them, and I think that's actually part of the line itself. And then the ones without the numbers were just added later on or something like that or something. This one's Vanilla Veil and as far as these mousses or these mousse shadows are concerned I'm probably just going to use them as bases because I notice that they tend to crease really bad so as long as you put like a primer underneath I think they should be okay. Um, this one's in Mint Dream. This one's in Gold Halo. Um, the blue one I already had then there's um, Heavenly Pink. Uh, pink Halo. Ivory Illusion. And Tranquil Rose. Yeah, that was about it. Um, I really, really seem I really liked these colors, and hopefully, here shortly I'll be able to do a tutorial or something with them. Um, we'll we'll figure something out, I'm sure. But um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, my next video here I'll probably do shortly is probably going to be just my a quick uh, like prep and prime for my foundation. And then I'll do a foundation tutorial after that. So um, just stay tuned and I'll see you guys later. Bye.